Good morning and welcome back to Yoga with Jess and the yoga stretch of the day. So today we're going to be working on a back bend a spine strengthening exercise. So we're going to work on a pose called the Cobra. But in order to do this we need to warm our backs up first and just get the back moving before we go into the pose into the Cobra. So we're going to start by sitting in a comfortable seated position, cross-legged position, easy pose or Sukhanasana in Sanskrit. So we're going to do a flexion extension to the spine exercise which is a seated version of the cat cow which is similar to what we did on the last pose. So we're going to place the hands onto the knees. On the inhale we're going to lift the chest and rock forwards on the pelvis and lifting that chest, pushing the chest chin forwards. Then on exhale, we're going to curl that spine, rolling back on the pelvis and bring the chin towards the chest. Inhale to rock forwards, arching the back, lift the chin and chest. So really arching that back. On your next exhale, roll back on the pelvis, curling the spine, bring the chin towards the chest. Inhale to arch the back. Exhale, curling the spine rolling back on the pelvic bowl, inhale to rock forwards, lift the chin and chest, exhale rolling backwards, curling the spine, chin towards the chest, inhale to arch forwards, lifting chin and chest, exhale curling the spine, and emptying all the air out of the navel, drawing that navel towards the spine, and then come back to neutral. So now we're going to come into the into the pose, into the back bend. So finding a space on your mat or a dedicated space that you've allocated to do this, and come onto your front. Have the legs together and feet together as much as you can. Try and keep them together throughout this exercise. Place the hands either side of your chest with the elbows tucked into the sides and arms bent. So tuck them as close as you can and the feet together and legs together. So um, if you have issues with your back, take this with caution and care. And if you feel any uncomfort at any point, then release or come out of it. But be careful if you have back issues. And we're only going to start by coming up with a couple of inches to start just to wake up the back first and then come into it again, coming into it a little bit deeper. So keeping those elbows tucked into the sides. We're going to lift the chest off the floor a couple of inches. So clenching those buttocks, lifting the chest, elbows tucked into the sides, looking ahead. So if you clench the buttocks, it just helps protect the back and takes away all the work from the lower back and spreads the workload. Focusing on your breath, remember to breathe. And then coming back down to the mat, cheek to the floor. So we're going to go again up a little bit higher if we can on this next one so keeping those elbows tucked into the sides once again pushing into the floor with the hands lifting the chest clenching those buttocks keeping the legs together as much as you can and then looking forwards and yet again remember to focus on your breath remember to breathe sometimes people forget and hold their breath so consciously focus on breathing So if you can come a little bit higher, but try not to lock the arms if you're flexible in the spine, keeping those elbows tucked into the sides. So if you do come up higher, just always keep a little bend in the arms and his arms tucked into the sides, lifting the chest and rolling the shoulders back, looking forwards. Inhale, exhale, focusing on your breath. Just go for a couple more breaths. One more breath. And release. 
knees back down to the mat or to the floor, cheek to the mat to the floor. So we're going to counter pose that back bend by coming up onto the knees and hands into box plank. And then walk the hands towards the knees as you sit back down on your heels. So heels to the seat bones into a kneeling position. Inhale to lift up the chest and on exhale we're going to come forwards with the chest and bring the forehead to the mat or floor as close to the knees as you can get it. And then take the arms down the sides by the legs. So we're coming into what we call child's pose. And just let the arms fall out to the sides and release those shoulders. Push the seat bones towards the heels. So we're counterposing the spine from the back bend. Releasing the back. And then place the hands to the mat to come off the floor, lifting your head and chest back up. And coming back into your seated position, cross-legged easy pose, the Sukhanasana where we started at the beginning. Hands back to the heart centre into prayer. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining me. Namaste.